Would you look at that, boys? We got a free paint job over the weekend. Who do I have to write a check to? How kind of our fellow residents to paint our garage door as well as our neighbor's garage door. Although I'm a little jealous they did a little, you know, better of a job over there. You know, they got some more paint, they got a better color scheme. But if this isn't just another sign that we gotta get the hell out of here, I don't know what is. What's going on? How much do we pay for the paint job on the garage door? Is it really? But that's the landlord, so. Don't have to worry about oh, did we tell the landlord about the graffiti? Yeah. Did they respond or? He's gonna fix it. Oh, he's gonna fix it. It's not on us. Yeah. I told him we have the guys on the security camera. Does he want it? Because I don't care. It's like. It's oh not, yeah, we should. Nothing's we should, gonna uh, happen. We should pull that and, and look at it. I'll play the clip for these guys. Did uh, was it like worth looking at? Is it like interesting at all? It it's just. You just see the guy like go off and paint it, and then. It's... They pulled up in a car, which is weird. Oh, they pulled up in a car. And they did both sides of the street. And head out. You can't really, you can't see much. So. Well, yeah, you can't see who it is, but at least it's kind of interesting. At least you get to see him spray paint it. Right. 10, 12 p.m. Car drives in, pulls behind a different car that was parked there. But then that car moves away. This car pulls in and they stay there and they park. And this is the car that ends up sitting there for three hours. Later in the night, at 44 minutes past midnight, which is 15 minutes before 1 a.m., we see a gentleman walk into the top left part of the camera. And this is exactly when he's spraying our door. Uh, you know, if the camera was able to be moved a little bit and we had a little bit better vision, but that's all we really got. So you can see the guy's legs there. He sprayed the door, kind of walks off, checks the car that drove by, starts spraying again, tagging the door. And as you can see, that car is still parked across the street, the vehicle they initially showed up in. The guy sprays the door, I think it takes him a minute or two. Yeah, I mean, he's been going at this door for a good, you know, three, four, five minutes. His buddy, I think, is walking across the street to get something from the car. Maybe he's playing lookout for him. Then a few minutes later, there's the three guys just standing in the street talking. On the camera, you can only really see their shadows. And then there's another dude just standing in the middle of the street, holding some type of bag. The guy actually walks over to the car too. Probably had a bag of uh, the spray paint and whatever they were painting with. So it looks like they came with at least three or four guys in that car. Yeah, that guy's got a bag of stuff too. Another person crosses the street, walks over to see him. Yeah, so these are clearly people in the area, in the neighborhood. They start up the car. I think only two of them get in the car. And then the car drives off at 54 minutes past midnight, which is about 10 minutes after they sprayed our door. Uh, as Adam said earlier, the landlord is apparently gonna take care of it and fix it. Uh, we don't really care that much about that, um, but again, you know, it gives us just more of a reason to get out of here and uh, move on to bigger and better things, hopefully as soon as possible. But realistically, probably within the next year. So we're down here today. I'm gonna help with some orders and I got a couple orders on Frankie's free range food as well, but uh, maybe I'll stick around a little longer than normal and then they'll have less work for tomorrow too. We didn't hear back from UPS yet, right, on the location? No. You get, us, you get back to us later, yeah. We'll know by tomorrow or Wednesday if, uh, if we're gonna be looking for a farm uh, in the New York, Pennsylvania area still or if we're gonna end up looking 
elsewhere that that's a better shipping hub. So the orders on Frankie's Free Range Foods are still just the whey protein and the nature's glucose. You're trying to get that extruder working this week so we'll get the Warrior Bars in production. Yeah, it's behind all these coolers, but it's, it's working. Oh yeah, we could show them that. So this is the extruder that we had installed. The electric was a nightmare, as with everything. You know, we don't have the proper three-phase electric, which is a commercial electric line in this facility. So we have to use an inverter for everything, but it's up and running, right? It runs. It runs, yeah, okay. Everything works. So we only had a couple orders to fill on Frankie's Range Foods today, just those five, and then that one small one over there, that's UPS. And we got a couple orders stacked on this pallet, but the guys already did, you know, two pallets worth of orders in here. So we already have about you know, 30, 40 orders done in here. Close that. And they're gonna do two more pallets. Freezer is packed full. I can't really go in because then the camera will uh, fog up. A little walk around, I guess, the facility. Nothing's really changed besides putting that extruder in. Back here is still mostly storage, although we did have to move that fridge uh, that we're currently not using. Probably nothing really in here. Yeah. This fridge is mostly empty, just some fat in the back that we have to render. Cardboard boxes here, boatload of styrofoam, a lot of styrofoam. That's really all that's back here. That's you know what we're shipping our orders in, so it takes up a lot of space. Cod liver back here, got the whey protein. Basement doesn't really have anything in it because it keeps flooding. And that's actually some powder that we're gonna feed to the animals when we get to farm, hopefully soon enough. This is a printer I just brought down. That's old and we have a desk as well. Nothing really too exciting, but you know, let me know if you guys wanna know more about our future plans. Maybe we'll talk about them in the next week or two when uh, we have a more concrete idea of what we're doing. For now, we're just trying to provide you guys with what we've been doing, mostly beef, other products here and there. And we really are just getting closer and closer and closer to that end goal of having like a full farm operation to do everything we want to do. So I'll help these guys with some orders and then I guess we'll get out of here. Why Frankie's free range meat? Downsides of unhealthy animals, downsides of low quality meat, environmental impact, higher vitamins taste. What kind of even made this? Nothing's planned this week really, right? We're just gonna do the warrior bars in about a week or two. Uh you mean new release? No. No products, right? Warrior bars. It's gonna okay. take a couple weeks. Got it. So you guys saw the branding in the vlog we did last week with all of the new fats. That's what we have, the Wagyu tallow in here. Wagyu tallow. We got beef tallow. We got pork lard. All nice new branding, new labels. Lamb tallow over here. So those are the cooking packs that we have for you guys that are what we consider like good quality stuff all pasture raised, all naturally fed. Uh, like chicken and duck, we can't really do right now mainly because of what they feed the animals in most parts. So maybe when we have our own farm when we're raising the animals ourselves, we'll be able to add slightly more variety of fats to you. We have been carrying the grass-fed Finlandian butter as we always have, so that's also an option you guys can use. But uh, maybe we'll show you guys some recipes over this week or next week to use the fats. Anything that you would classically do like high crust, mayonnaise, just searing steaks. This is basically what it's for. I guess that's it for today. Uh, these guys don't really need my help down here and hypothetically, when we get that farm property, when we get the other operations up and running, like, you know, who knows, a year from now, if we have our own slaughterhouse, our own creamery, our own 
you know, chicken operation. You know, I'll have five, six, seven, who knows how many employees on the farm. And I'll be there myself working every day and doing uh, more important stuff too. And I'll be able to help around with everything instead of just right now packaging orders. So that, that, that's the, the, the thing to look forward to where I'll actually be more hands-on with everything. So thank you guys for joining me today. Definitely check out frankiestrangemeat.com for all of our products. And of course, let me know if there's anything you would like us to get you, if there's anything that uh, you know, maybe you're buying somewhere else that we can uh, try to procure for you guys right now. But I think that real next step is, you know, we have our own farm, we have our own operation, we can kind of control everything more and offer a very wide variety of high quality product uh, with a higher margin that can allow us to grow. So thanks again for joining me guys and I'll see you for tomorrow's video.